On today's episode of Weather Watchers, we take the weather back to see precipitation. Today's specific order for this precipitation is oronographic, which happens in the mountains. It'd be great if you're catching a ride on a helicopter to go see those! Our helicopter ride will start at this old abandoned military base. Let's begin our helicopter ride to see cloud formation on the mountain. When water evaporates, it rises. The rising water goes up into the atmosphere. Now, wind carries this evaporated water through the air and upwards so where it starts to cool and condense around the mountain top or otherwise known as the windward side. As it cools and condenses it forms clouds which make precipitate. Now the clouds on this side provide moisture to the windward side of a mountain or a mountain range, leaving the side to be very green or because of all the rain that is soon to happen. Now, this is a different story on the other side, where the air loses all of its moistness and becomes very dry and arid. precipitation. Join us next time for Warm Front. Hello. Welcome back to today's episode Today, I've returned to my favorite city in the country, in the weather van, to do fronts. But today's episode of fronts will not be happening here. We'll be beginning on a train to go to a specialized area for weather testing. Hello, this is our example, warm front blowing over a cold front. The warm front represented by the red train, and the cold front represented by the blue things, which also has a train, not to be confused with the trains, are going to be our experiment. Now, usually when a warm front goes over a cold front, it's a nice steady make of clouds and precipitation. Not very sudden, very nice and simple. This will be example now. As we can see, our warm front slowly moving over, creating clouds, and then the precipitation starts. As you can see, in the lower districts, which will be over here, there's less precipitation at the start of the warm front, meaning the cold front. But here, where it gets more intense, there is more precipitation and higher clouds. And this is the example warm front. Next is our example cold front. Getting a warm front. 
Here we will have our example cold front meeting a warm front. This is when the cold air mass is blown towards a warm air mass, pushing the warm air mass dramatically upwards and causing sudden rain, sudden hard rain, but it's not long lasting. It'll be exampled by these clouds that are now forming and the rain. Now it will slowly move this direction in this formation right here creating a slow and s uh, no creating a sudden rain in its path until the warm air is fully above the cold front i hope hello and welcome to today's episode of the they will be looking at convention codes but not here at our usual place we'll be landing on this ferry to go to a tropical island. Due to the fact that convection, convection weather usually happens in tropical areas. Hello, I am your trusted professor of weather, and welcome to the Hall of Geography! We are on a tropical island, which I have bought. It is totally not an evil layer. Now, this is where we'll be looking at convectional precipitation due to the fact it only happens in tropics. So, let's get to it. To get to the outside, I've decided to use our submarine, which you may remember from our oceanography episode. Now, convectional precipitation is caused when land heated by the sun, usually near tropical regions, is re the heat is released into the atmosphere, slowly cool pushing the air upwards and then cooling it, condensing it to make rain clouds. Well, it'll be exampled by our exampled heat there, that is slowly rising upwards because of the heat of the land. Now, once it gets to a certain point, it will start to cool and condense around here. The clouds will form. And then after the clouds, it'll start to precipitate. It is not uncommon to get lightning storms with it. And that is convectional precipitation on a totally not evil island. Now, our weather unit is concluded. Next week, tectonic plates. As I said, tectonic plates, and it's still totally not evil.
field. 